Hi everyone, welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark, a regular feature in which I show you a tip or trick in 5 minutes or less to dramatically increase your WordPress workflow efficiency. So today I'm going to be showing you how to troubleshoot your WordPress site if you have uh, some display errors. Uh, a lot of times what happens is you might have some PHP conflict between a couple of plugins or you might have a conflict between a plugin and a theme. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to troubleshoot. Now there's a few ways to go about doing this. There's uh, You can run debug and try to figure it out yourself, which is always possible. Uh, and uh, then the other way, which is pretty common, is when people run into problems, what they do is they start disabling plugins. And in general, what you'll do is you'll disable all the plugins and then you'll enable one at a time until you find out what the culprit is. What I'm going to show you today is a really quick and easy way to do that without having to go through the brain damage of, of taking that much time. So this is a huge time saver. And uh, this is a free plugin that's available on the WordPress repository. It's made by our friends at N Squared, and there are a couple of really awesome developers who saw this need. And in fact, it won the plugin Palooza at WordCamp Orange County a couple of years ago. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show this to you really quick and how it works. As you can see on my screen here, I have got uh, an issue with uh, my website. Um, now, I'm not really sure what's causing the problem. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my dashboard here. And of course, this does require that you have the ability uh, to get into your dashboard. So, and I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to add a new plugin. And I'm going to do a search for Plugin Detective. And here we go. And then I'm just going to install it. And this is going to help you to troubleshoot your plugin. And it's going to go through that process, but it's going to automate, somewhat automate that process of um, disabling pl pr plugins one at a time and determining what the culprit is. So uh, I'll go ahead and activate it here. Uh, if you look at the front end again, you'll see that I still have this issue. Okay, so I'm going to go into the into the dashboard here, and I go to Tools and Plugin Detective, and the first thing that you're going to see is you're going to see this little robot that says open up a new case. And uh, so we're going to go ahead, open up this case here. And what it's going to do is it's going to grab your site and it's going to display it. And it asks you to navigate where you're seeing the problem. I'm already there. And um, as you can see, I installed a whole ton of plugins and one of them is causing the problem. But we're going to say that none of these are actually required for functionality. So I'm done. And so what it's going to do now is it says that there are 27 plugins that it's going to take a look at. So I start the interrogation process. And the first thing it does, and this is where you have to have a little bit of manual input, is as you can see, it's displayed the way that it should. So I'm going to say, yes, it's fixed. So now it's put 14 in this holding cell, and it's interrogating three quote unquote suspects. I'm going to interrogate again. And essentially what it does is it does about half at a time. Okay. Now you see I've kind of lost my styling. So it is not working. So I click on no, it is still broken. Broken. And then I start interrogating again. And now we're back to looking at lo looking the way that it should. And so yes, it's fixed. Now we have seven in the holding cell. We have 14 already cleared. Now imagine how much time it would take you to disable all those plugins and enable them one at a time. This is already doing the work for you. Okay, it is still fixed after it's interrogated uh, six and it has seven left to go. So yeah, it's still fixed. So now it only has four in the holding cell and it's cleared 20. And now I am interrogating three, and it is still fixed. So we're getting down to it here, okay? It's cleared 23, it's got two suspects, and it's got two in the holding cell. I'm going to start interrogating again. Oh, now we're back to it looking 
uh, with, without the styling. So I'm going to hit, now it's still broken. So now we start, and so it's going to be between these two. Okay, so now, once again, it's fixed. So it has one suspect, but it just wants to make sure, so we interrogate it one more time, and we say it's broken. And now what it's going to do is it's going to tell you, this is your culprit, and now I ask for it to be deactivated. And as you'll see, with the plugin deactivated, I go to the front page here it looks like it should and that's it it's really a simple little tool to use and it's something that is so helpful and it'll save you a ton of time because I know that personally I've spent as much as an hour going through deactivating and activating plugins until I was able to determine where the broken plugin was and this is something that I did in under five minutes so I hope you like this video and if you did uh, please feel free to comment down below feel free to subscribe and if you have any comments or suggestions that you would like for future videos please let us know thanks and have a great day